Meteorological observation in Nigeria started in 1887 on the Public Works Department premises at the race course Lagos, Nigeria. Do you also know that the first operational meteorological services department was established in 1937? Please join me in this progressive journey of NIMED since established. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, came into resistance by an act of National Assembly, NIMET Establishment Act 2003, enacted on 21 May 2003 and became effective on 19 June 2003, following presidential assent. Since then, Nigeria's capacity for weather and climate observations and services has continued to thrive. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, is a federal government agency charged by the Act of the National Assembly of 2003 to advise the government on all aspects of metrology, weather and climate services, project, prepare and interpret government policy in the fields of metrology and issue weather forecasts and climate outlooks for the safe operation of aircrafts, ocean-going vessels and oil rigs and other socioeconomic activities. Precisely in 2003, uh, under the Parliament Act, uh, we got established as a Nigerian Meteorological Agency uh, under the Federal Ministry of Aviation. Uh, and later, in just a few weeks ago also, we got our Establishment Act repealed by the Senate of the Nigerian government. And this, uh, we now have an updated and upgraded uh, legal framework that uh, gave the agency the legal and the uh, authoritative uh, authority uh, in terms of uh, provision of met service uh, in that country, uh, as well as also regulating all meteorological activities, and the science of meteorology advisories uh, in both the private sector and public institution of the government. The Act also provides NIMET with the responsibility to observe collate, collect, process, and disseminate all meteorological data and information within and outside, coordinate research activities among staff, and publish scientific papers in the various branches of meteorology in support of sustainable socioeconomic activities in Nigeria. We use this as a uh, demonstration uh, facility for the students to teach the students how to carry out observations on poultry beds, also to research on the effect of weather on the performance of the beds. The information collected, that's the temperature, I'm talking per se of the temperature, will be you know, uh, given to the uh, agriculturalists for their own uh, disseminations. So that's what uh, uh, the soil thermometer uh, does. This captures, you know, from the satellite, you know, every 15, 15 minutes, this processes and then sends out. Since we provide per minute per second operations in the aviation industry in form of aeromet services, uh, we've been ISO certified for the last 10, 15 years and we currently uh, got our ISO 9001-2015 uh, uh, renewed. Uh, we've been maintaining it for the last uh, eight years, uh, having metamorphosed from ISO 9001-2008. Weather and climate information forms a strong support and early warning system for weather-dependent industries. Having experienced the vagaries of climate change, in its various forms, Nigeria and the global world, especially communities and operators within the coastal and maritime environment, need to be adequately informed of its likely associated impacts to be guided in their operations. Meteorological service by nature 
is transboundary, national and international and multisectoral in applications. The dynamic nature of the science of metrology makes it imperative for the abundance of the highly skilled and competent personnel and social infrastructure. This, however, propelled the Nigerian Metrological Agency, NIMET, to constantly develop its capacity to promote excellence in its service delivery to its established mandate. Whether climate services are perishable in nature, uh, so you need a, a clear, a smooth uh, relay platforms to be able to do this. So you cannot do this alone, so that is why we centered uh, and also emphasize on partnership. NIMET, with a mission set over the years to observe Nigerian weather and climate and provide meteorological, hydrological, and oceanographic services in support of national needs and international obligations has continued to improve on its service delivery to Nigeria, the region of Africa, and the global world. Anytime we come up with a forecast, either seasonal or sub-seasonal, or any sectoral forecast, uh, we invite the relevant stakeholders to come and interpret uh, based on their understanding, and then also uh, provide sectoral advisories based on the guidance we're giving them. Uh, and uh, this creates a lot of uh, flexibility and ownership, and it improves the precision of the forecast and also the participation and also the putting the driver, uh, the stakeholders in the driver's seat also makes them to own the forecast and see it as their own and then help a lot in monitoring the, the forecast. NIMET currently has six zonal offices, 36 state offices, 55 synoptic field offices, and eight marine stations. NIMET has two regional training centers in Lagos and the Metrological Institute of Science and Technology in Casina. Go to the site with your measuring tapes, with your call, with your GPS, and many other survey gadgets to collect this data. That's why we say it's very tedious. It's difficult to collect them. I came here to do some meteorological training to enhance my capacity to be able to do actual forecasting for my country in terms of uh, determining storms that could be chaotic, determining floods that could be chaotic, and doing a lot of uh, amazing things. RTC in Nigeria, NIMET has subjected me to a lot of fundamental causes in metrology. Causes like um, metrological practical, which the course content is for practical in nature, and also deals with weather chart, significant weather chart, and many more um, important metrological concepts were captured. I intend using the knowledge I obtained in this institution to use to aid the Nigerian Air Force in their flight planning and flight operations. We have been very successful in carrying out a fundamental uh, training for graduates, meteorological training for graduates. Uh, we have done training for aeronautical meteorological observers. We have done training on QMS to the staff of the agency. Now, beside that basic training, which we hope to escalate from here at the northern part of the country to the other parts of the, of the country, and also to English-speaking African countries, if uh, we have formalized that, we are undertaking national diploma program. There is um, an ongoing discussion to establish a uh, marine forecast center here. So the equipment that are coming to that place is going to be serving both the school and the marine, I mean, marine meteorologists. You know, to be, uh, we will be using this center for the training of our own students, where, and whereas the other people, the marine meteorologists, will be using the place to make the necessary forecast for the ocean liners. The Nigeria Meteorological Agency, NIMET, 
is responsible for seasonal climate prediction annually to provide information on the outlook of key climate parameters, rainfall amount, onset and cessation dates, as well as temperature across Nigeria for the year. It is part of the weather early warning system for key sectors in Nigeria, such as agriculture, health, power, water resources, disaster risk management, telecommunications, etc. Seasonal climate prediction also examines the likely socioeconomic implications of the predicted climate variables for weather sensitive sectors of the Nigerian economy. Uh, we have real-time weather uh, reports automated uh, without human interference and uh, it goes very far to provide us with accurate weather information that helps pilots in uh, landing and in takeoff safely. From NIME to receive prediction or uh, develop our own crop calendars. As I'm talking to you, I'm just preparing for our dry season rice production. And we cannot do it unless we have our data, weather data from NIME. The um, uh, annual uh, climate prediction, which used to be an annual uh, rainfall prediction, but was changed by this um, um, Director General, Professor Mansur Bakomatazu, uh, which has uh, embraced every aspect of the climate to include both the rainfall and other things uh, has been giving us a very good uh, uh, strategy on how to really go about handling the issues in the Federal Capital Territory. It is uh, <coughs> where uh, observation stations are managed. Uh, it is where public weather services are delivered. It is where all research concerning the impacts of weather in other sectors of the economy is steered. Generally, the Directorate of Engineering and Technical Services are responsible for one first and foremost recommendation of suitable equipment and instrumentations to be used for the monitoring of the weather and climate, which is the key responsibility of the agency. This particular department is in charge of legal affairs, if I may say. In other words, we give a legal advice to the agency in terms of day-to-day -day activities of the agency. In this directorate, we are saddled with application of weather and climatological information. So uh, it is a, is a lot more than uh, providing weather and climate uh, forecasts. So what we do here is that we even go beyond that to engage uh, users and also generate uh, solutions or advisories. Over the years, particularly under the present Director General, Chief Executive Officer and the Permanent Representative of Nigeria with WMO, Professor Mansou Bako Matazu, the agency has positioned itself as a world-class service provider of weather and climate services with global purpose-driven agenda that guide its day-to-day -day operations. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Nigeria Meteorological Services for the great developments they've made. Nigeria is the host of the Regional Training Center in Lagos, through which Nigeria has been providing support to many countries in West Africa, particularly English-speaking countries. Uh, when I joined WMO in 2019 and visited NIMET, I discovered that there were a lot of uh, things that NIMET is doing, not only within the country itself, not only within ECOWAS region, not only within, within Africa itself, but also uh, within WMO itself. 
Nigeria through NIMED has been a beacon of excellence in Africa. I have related with three administrations in NIMED and um, I have what I can say about their support for WMO and the WMO community is that it has been excellent. We asked for a mission on numerical weather prediction and it was approved by the Secretary General uh, thanks to WMO uh, and the mission conducted in 2018-19 also gave us a sound uh, background uh, to on, on improving our numerical weather predictions. So with this we got the unit well equipped and then also staff trained uh, on the latest um, global, regional and including our localized models uh, also to be able to add value to our forecasting uh, tools and uh, also products and services. The agenda on work plan approved and rectified by the federal government through the Honorable Minister of Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, established a seven cabinet trust that became a flagship document for daily operations of NIMET and other ministries, departments and agencies. The government under President Muhammad Buhari since coming to power in 2015 have done everything possible to ensure that uh, NIMED is well run. Uh, NIMED is given the latitude to uh, come up professionally and offer services. Um, a typical example is the uh, seasonal uh, uh, predictions that they do early in the year. Weather focus has become more efficient these days and, uh, in NIMED. They become more and more sophisticated by the their um, performances and um, what they do. The way government has supported them is, of course, we give them the money uh, in which to procure their needs and carry out their services. Oh, one way, we never held back to what they can do. Two, they allow, we allow them, give them the latitude uh, to play within their sphere without interference by government uh, at the top. Once the policy is made, we allow them to run with the policy and implement it. And they haven't done badly, they've done very well. One of the best agencies that we have uh, under civil aviation. The work plan sets objectives with timelines and performance indicators. The strategic objectives of the work plan were quarterly reviewed and rigorously analyzed for performance which has never been lower than 80%. No wonder the success story of the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, NIMED. Leverage on the existential traditional media outreach in form of uh, uh, newspapers, uh, the print media, electronic media, uh, and, and of course also the traditional media uh, platforms to be able to relay our information using the uh, enabling MDS approach. Uh, and as such, also we, we, we made our own uh, website to be very interactive in nature and also uh, we came up with an app uh, tag as NAMED SCP on, is on Play Store and Apple Store on real time and with this you have information from 774 local government areas across the country uh, and people can access information on the rainfall pattern. The agency has improved its governance and institutional setting, among others, by regularly producing and updating the agency's profile and database for organizational, geographical, and technical reference in all its existing stations. Comprehensive review of Aeromat operational documents, Aeromat QMS, and RTC's QMS certificates. It has continued to build an effective partnership for improved service delivery with an enhanced relationship with partner ministries, departments and agencies. Following up on the existing memorandum of understanding and looking out for more, it frequently organizes 
interactive stakeholder sections with airline operators in major report. There is a good, good collaboration between NIMET and NISA. The two agencies have been working very closely together and then to achieve a major, a major result to serve our nation Nigeria. We believe that through these joint partnerships uh, we can be able to help farmers and we can be able to deal with the problem of food insecurity uh, and uh, disaster risk reduction in the country. The information we get with NIMET is actually the backbone of the success of NEMA. With the devastating impact of climate change across Africa and the world, it has continued to conduct assessments and upgrade its observational infrastructure, such as the network of automated weather observing systems, and also boosting and updating its internet infrastructure for easy interactivity. NIMET has continued to improve its data and product sharing to support climate smart decisions by drafting the NIMET data policy and ratifying and certifying the policy. The impact we see is the increased number of stations and the early transmission of data on the GTS. The Nigeria Meteorological Agency NIMET has also enhanced its numerical model and forecasting tools and applications with increased synergy between the numerical weather prediction and other units. It has also upgraded and maintained the agency's high-performance computing system and training of numerical weather prediction personnel. NIMET also focused on increasing its investment to improve service delivery and generate relevant products. The agency is likewise progressing towards revamping its marine meteorological operations to provide stellar services for the nation's economy. NIMET has improved its climate risk early warning and advisory service through improved end-to-end -end delivery of warnings of severe weather and its impact on the public. The North is having a great rainfall season. In the last 72 hours, we've had reports about above 50 millimeters of rainfall over the extreme north with cases of flash flooding, reports of some death and loss of properties over parts of the north. Is the south Timely dissemination of alerts and notifications and public presentation of seasonal climate prediction and the state of the climate in Nigeria. NIMET has also developed a mobile application for a timely report of weather conditions across the country and also upgraded its website with interactive web pages for the meteorological training schools. The agency also improved staff welfare for job satisfaction and efficiency through training and retraining of staff and then backing on staff promotion exercises and timely monitoring of good performance and reward system. When our staff are due for promotion, we try as much as possible every year to conduct the promotion exercise as I will do and also to promote them and start paying them their remuneration as early as possible. I believe that has impacted positively on staff. Even though we are a government, prestatal government agency, our approach is a private sector approach, and uh, which is a also result-based approach. And to be able to get this implemented in as fast as possible, you need <clears throat> you need to get your staff well motivated in form of training, retraining, in form of other welfare packages, uh, and and also a bottom-up approach in in in, in, in getting their views also had and also in getting their views uh, in, in, in directing some of our policies and their implementation. Through its collaboration with the World Meteorological Organization, NIMET receives different data and products coming from WMO operational networks from global producing centers. They process the data and generate services for their customers. Following NIMET's support for sister med services in the sub-region, such as Sierra Leone Meteorological Department for the daily weather forecast supplied, especially during the severe flooding event in September 
2015, the permanent representative of Sierra Leone with WMO Alpha Bukhari on behalf of his country expressed their gratitude to the WMO representative for North, Central and West Africa and the government of Nigeria. The government have been very, very supportive in form of uh, policies and guidelines and also we've been getting 100% release of our budgetary uh, provisions annually, on an annual basis and also there's a strong interest of our Honorable Minister of Aviation in what we do and uh, based on this also uh, we've been getting a lot of push and notes uh, to be able to interact uh, with some of our partners agencies within the aviation industry. The feat attained by NIMET today would not have been possible without the government's support through policy advisory and financial commitment. Mm -hmm.